Hi guys, in this video, we will discuss the loft generator in detail. You can see here, in this scene, I have created some circles of various red eye and now we will add loft object. For that, you need to go to this extrude tool and you need to press and hold the left mouse button and then you need to choose this loft tool. You can see here this loft object is added over here. Now I will drag suppose this circle to this loft object. You can see now as I have dragged the circle to this loft object surface is created over here. So it means that using the loft object and one spline you can create a surface out of the spline. Now if I drag one more circle to this loft object, you can see now 3D surface is created. Now if I add some more circles, I mean if I add all the circles to this loft object, now you can see a nice shape is created over here like a flower pot. And if I now change the radius of this circles by selecting them in the object manager you can see the shape can be modified easily suppose i change this radius i can get now it is looking like one bottle so i can create various 3d models using this loft object and splines like this i can modify the shape now if i select any circle suppose and if i move it then also this shape can be modified like if i select this circle and if i move it we can change the shape like this next if i select this loft object in the object manager number of Parameters are there for loft object in this attribute manager. And if I select this caps button, you can see if I want, I can remove this start cap that is at the bottom. And if I retain it and if I clear this end cap checkbox, you can see now this end cap is removed. Here also, you can add bevel to this shape like if i just increase the size i need to zoom over here and i need to select this checkbox to see the bevel effect now you can see here this beveling can be seen at this end we have discussed beveling in detail in one of our videos so like this you can change the bevel shape using these options. I can decrease or increase the segments on this bevel shape. You can have separate bevel controls also by selecting this checkbox. The 3D shapes that are created using the loft and spline objects also depends on the order of the splines in this loft object. If you change the order, the 3D shape can be modified. That's all in this video. Thanks for watching.